Vehicles come in a myriad of shapes and sizes. From those designed with award-winning aesthetics to others that seem like products of design confusion, the automotive world spans a spectrum. Yet, nestled in between these extremes are cars that defy conventional norms. They neither please the eye nor provoke disdain, but stand out in uniquely bizarre ways. Whether adorned with six headlamps or equipped with six wheels, these cars are etched in memory for their peculiar appearances. Join us as we explore the realm of automotive eccentricity, showcasing the 10 weirdest and most bizarre cars ever made. 1. 1990 Toyota Soho The 1990 Toyota Sarah holds a special place in my heart, especially for those of us who grew up in the 1990s. While not particularly powerful, featuring a modest 1.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine generating 108 horsepower and 97 pound-feet of torque, it earned its spot as a favorite. Far from an aesthetic masterpiece, the Sarah stood out with its butterfly doors, a feature now common in exotic hypercars, but, at the time, reminiscent of race cars. Interestingly, Gordon Murray drew inspiration for the dihedral doors of his McLaren F1 from the design of this petite Toyota. Toyota took innovation further by adding a glass, canopy-style roof to the Sarah, perhaps in pursuit of an eye-catching aesthetic. Although it garnered significant attention, in hindsight, the Sarah is more peculiar than cool. 2. 2004 Chevrolet Super Sport Roadster The Chevrolet Super Sport Roadster, SSR, stands as a perplexing entry in the automotive world. A retractable hardtop convertible pickup truck. If you find yourself scratching your head, rest assured, you're not alone. Produced by Chevrolet between 2003 and 2006, the SSR remains a recent memory, and the wounds from its unconventional design are still fresh. The SSR was, in essence, a flawed concept from the start. Capitalizing on the success of retro-styled models like the Chevrolet PT Cruiser, Chevrolet took a bold swing with its own retro-inspired creation. Drawing design cues from Chevrolet's advanced design pickup trucks of the 1940s, the SSR's aesthetic ended up resembling a mishmash of different body types, a trend considered fashionable at the time. Unfortunately for Chevy, the SSR failed to gain traction, enduring a mere two years in the market, largely due to the public's discomfort with its unconventional design. 3. 1984 Nissan Pulsar NX The Nissan Pulsar NX belongs to the realm of peculiar automobiles, but unlike the Chevrolet SSR, the Pulsar NX effortlessly carries a cool and stylish weirdness. With the hatch in place, the Pulsar NX transforms into a shooting brake model, turning heads with its unique design. Interestingly, the hatch itself serves no practical purpose beyond the aesthetic appeal, showcasing Nissan's deliberate choice for a touch of vanity in the Pulsar NX's design. This feature allows owners to alter the car's look based on their mood, adding a playful element to the driving experience that didn't go unnoticed. Over its four-year production span, the Pulsar NX enjoyed considerable success. Even today, if someone spots a Pulsar NX and recognizes its distinctiveness, they're likely to pose the same question, where's the shooting brake canopy? For 1990 BMW Z1 BMW has earned acclaim for crafting some of the automotive world's most stunning vehicles, with the BMW M1 standing as a prime example of impeccable German design and engineering. However, in the realm of peculiarities, none quite match the uniqueness of the beloved Z1. Deviating from the traditional BMW aesthetic of its time, the Z1 showcased a kidney grill that appeared diminutive, resembling a rat's nose. Its distinctive headlamps were positioned unusually low into the hood, adding to its eccentric charm. Notably, the Z1 became infamous for its vertically sliding doors, a feature that dropped into the door sills. BMW, perhaps envisioning a groundbreaking innovation, introduced these sliding doors, but their absence in subsequent models hints at a different outcome. Despite its unconventional design, the Z1 boasted some commendable features, including being one of the first BMWs to feature a multi-link rear suspension. Its 2.5-liter straight-six engine, generating 168 horsepower and 164 pound-feet of torque, added a punchy dynamic to this sports car. Yet, whether for better or worse, the Z1 will forever be etched in memory for those distinctive doors. 5. 1986 Lamborghini LM002 Well before the Urus tantalized us with Lamborghini's capabilities in the super SUV realm, the Italian automaker birthed this beastly creation known as the LM002. Originally conceived for military purposes, this off-road truck embarked on a seven-year production journey from 1986 to 1993. In an era where Lamborghini was synonymous with meticulously handcrafted performance cars, the LM002's emergence as a full-fledged off-road truck was nothing short of peculiar. Yet, 
Over time, this automotive anomaly has transformed into a mythical creature in the Lamborghini lineup. Coveted by Lamborghini collectors, the LM002 has found its place as a sought-after model, and with the advent of the Urus, it has, in its own unique way, become the spiritual predecessor to the new SUV. Nevertheless, the LM002 remains, and will forever be, one of the most eccentric creations ever to emerge from a performance car brand. 6. 1980 Subaru Brat The name speaks volumes, doesn't it? Introducing the Subaru Brat, a nimble, four-wheel drive coupe utility vehicle, affectionately known as a Euda in Australia and New Zealand. Despite the inherent peculiarity of utes, characterized by their tonneaus behind the passenger compartments, the Brat elevates the eccentricity with its distinctive name. While the model itself may not boast exhilarating aesthetics and never ventured beyond a 1.8-liter four-cylinder engine, the Brat has surprisingly gained popularity as a cherished collector's item. Enthusiasts with a penchant for vehicular oddities have welcomed the Subaru Brat into their garages, solidifying its status as a captivating anomaly in every imaginable description. 7. 2013 Mercedes-Benz AMG G3 6x6 Similar to BMW, Mercedes-Benz has a rich history of crafting stunning vehicles. However, on the flip side of that spectrum lies Mercedes' foray into the realm of weird and peculiar creations, diverse in shapes and sizes, epitomized by this mobile monolith. Propelled by a potent 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 engine generating 536 horsepower and 561 pound-feet of torque, the AMG G63 6x6 stretches a colossal 231.3 inches in length and boasts six wheels. Despite its imposing stature, the G63 6x6 exhibits astonishing speed, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 7.8 seconds, cementing its status as one of the most formidable production vehicles on the road. Debuting in 2013, Mercedes intentionally limited the production of the AMG G63 6x6 to preserve its exclusivity, resulting in only a handful of models in the market. This behemoth of mayhem unquestionably stands out as one of the wildest and most audacious models ever brought to life. 8. 1930 Stout Scarab It undeniably resembled an actual scarab, akin to the species of beetles found worldwide. The source of William Stout's fascination with scarabs, inspiring him to craft a minivan modeled after one and even adopting the beetle's name for his creation, remains unclear. Over time, the scarab has evolved into a prized collector's item. Although not the most practical vehicle of its era, hampered by minimal rear visibility, the idiosyncrasy of its design has played a pivotal role in securing its enduring legacy. The Scarab, once deemed unattractive, now stands as a distinguished exemplar of Art Deco design, marking a fitting transformation for one of the early pioneers in the minivan segment. 9. Fiat Multipla Numerous automakers have ventured into experimenting with headlamp setups, yielding varying degrees of success. While some, like BMW's M1 with its pop-up lights, have achieved spectacular results, others, such as Nissan's Juke crossover, fail to captivate visually. Fiat, however, took a distinctive approach with the Multipla, challenging the conventional notion that two headlamps are sufficient for illuminating the road. Adding to its peculiarities, the Multipla features an elevated windshield. This oddity has earned the model numerous design awards, albeit for reasons that lean toward the unconventional. Clinching the title of the ugliest car in the world multiple times, the beleaguered MPV wears this dubious honor as a badge of distinction. Unsurprisingly, sightings of the Multipla on roads today are scarce, and those who still own one are likely to be few, a sentiment that is entirely understandable. 10. 1950 BMW Assetta 300 Setting aside all the disclaimers, the BMW Assetta 300 is, in essence, a conventional car. Although technically classified as a micro car, the Assetta 300, despite its idiosyncrasies, emerged as a sensation in the 1950s. Surpassing 161,000 units sold, it claimed the title of the world's top-selling single-cylinder car. Despite fading into the annals of history, the Assetta 300 experienced a resurgence, garnering attention in various publications, television programs, and movies over the last two decades. This microcar's return to automotive consciousness has transformed it into a sought-after classic, solidifying its position as one of BMW's most distinctive models ever crafted. Thanks for joining us on this intriguing journey through some of the weirdest and most bizarre cars ever made. From peculiar designs to unique features, these vehicles have certainly left their mark on automotive history.
If you enjoyed exploring the unconventional side of the automotive world, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep cruising.